Welcome to my channel if this is your first time. This is my first YouTube video. So basically just what I wanted to come on here today to talk about is My practice framework is to integrate the mind, body, spirit as one. And uh, I'd say about two years ago, I had my spiritual way. Awakening, and I just want to come on YouTube and other public forums to talk about what it is, because I feel like it's this thing that is made out to be really taboo and even like fantasy for some people um but it's definitely not it's definitely a really hard challenging journey and it happens basically like a spiritual awakening happens when you your soul um your psyche your inner self needs some sort of shift in life and you know for some people it happens really quickly and then for others it's more of a long period over time for me i would say I was in my dark night of the soul phase for about two years and i'm just coming out of it um because a spiritual awakening basically is when you're shifting from a certain level of consciousness to um from subconscious to conscious so I love talking about the brain and the neural pathways in the brain and basically like our chakra system which is let's see it's over here if you can see it I have it on my wall but there's the root chakra at the bottom is the red and then orange for sacral the yellow for solar plexus the green for the heart the blue for the throat indigo for the third eye and purple for the crown. Um, so basically the chakras are the guidance system to us as humans um, on an energetic level because so often we're looking at mental health and physical health just as this concept that's very three-dimensional and we don't take in the other aspects of our energetic body. So with spiritual awakening, it's basically like you're opening up to your energy body or your spiritual body. And in that comes a lot of inner work that comes up um, that Jungian psychology would call the shadow self. And the shadow self is all these unhealed aspects within ourselves, within our psyche. Um, and so for me pers personally, I'd say over the last two years when my spiritual awakening first started in 2018, basically what happens is when you become spiritually um, woken up, everything that you hold on to in the physical material world is going to dissolve or slowly crumble or not matter anymore or... Um, Basically, it, it's going to, things that you know as true are going to go away. And that's for the reason to connect to the divine purpose of your soul, um, to yourself, and to the bigger mission as a whole. So basically, any attachments that you have are just going to slowly or quickly go away. And that is... Kind of the epitome and the, the starting moment for a spiritual awakening is when you realize that the present is the only time that matters and how important that I am presence is and what that looks like in your life and basically it's it's this diving into your inner psyche, your inner world and figuring out what's important to you and what is important to other people because so often um, we, from a very, very young age, are conditioned and programmed to like certain things, to um, 
to agree with certain beliefs. Mostly there are there are parents' beliefs or society's beliefs or religion religious beliefs and we operate in a way that's so subconscious. Eighty percent of the way we operate in our brain and our behavior is actually subconscious. So all these patterns will play out that need healing and basically the spiritual awakening is is a really challenging uh, phase of life and transition to go through because you're having to go through all of these inner child uh, aspects of yourself that are unhealed based on your past although the present moment is now and here it's almost you have to go backwards in order to be here right now and so I just wanted to use YouTube as a way to talk about spiritual awakening, spiritual gifts, spirituality, law of attraction, manifestation, um, and also integrate psychology because I'm a firm believer in both science, psychology, and spirituality. And I wanted to create a channel and a space and a community for people going through spiritual awakening or um, just going through life transitions where they want to connect spiritually in order to connect to their higher selves because part of the process of transformation is knowing that we are all one and we all um, are connected to the same universal energy and source and that source and energy is love based on the heart chakra and so I'm very passionate about the chakras and, and healing the energetic and the physical body because the chakra system is part of what we go through that needs to be healed and cleared in order to get to a different state of consciousness where this is where we want to be, where we're in the present moment, we're embodying love and trust and support in the universe. And um, it does take a while to get there. And then, you know, when you're in the process, you can go in and then you can go out, you know. So for me, my spiritual awakening started about two years ago when I just started to see life really differently. Um, I was with someone at the time who wasn't open spiritually and was very um, religious, and I really didn't agree with um, the box that religion kept people in. So I wanted to explore spirituality and dive into that. And that was the first start of where I call a separation period or when you're initially starting the spiritual awakening journey, you will go through a hermit phase. Um, they call it hermit phase, dark night of the soul. But basically what that is, is you have to go inward a lot in order to figure out what you want and um, basically like what your purpose is and what your purpose is here on this earth at this time and right now if you're going through an awakening congratulations because your purpose is to discover yourself your purpose and then share it with the world so we all have a purpose that we're meant to bring to the world and share with others and um, when you're going through it you will Basically, your biggest enemy is going to be yourself your whole time because you're shifting from this past version of yourself in the subconscious where you're living out of the subconscious mind, recreating patterns uh, from that place of awareness. And when you do shift into awakening, your consciousness does shift from subconscious to conscious. So things that are going on, you're going to be a lot more sensitive to. Um, you're going to be more sensitive to energy, to the chakras because this is all, it's all a healing process. So like, you have, it, it, you can like go back and forth through stages. I mean, there are quite a few stages of it and I'm still going through it, but I'd say definitely getting on the tail end of it now after two years. So basically two years ago, like everything in my life fell apart. Everything I thought that I wanted um, went from being so clear to being so unclear and it can cause a lot of distress and being a licensed um, mental health professional the spirituality isn't talked about in the DSM in therapy in any forms of um, you know there's a new branch with like holistic psychology which is really key and what should be focused on you know from the start because the mind body spirit are one so 
all three bodies focus as one. The, the human psyche, soul, who we are essentially is made up of four bodies, and that's the physical body, the mental body, the emotional body, and the spiritual body. So basically, during our lives, we pick up residual energy or trauma from certain experiences, places, people, events. So what happens is that gets stuck in our chakras or in our psyche. And part of the work that I do as an energy healer is to help clear through the chakra system, balance any old stagnant energy, and basically clear through the subconscious and um, clear trauma in that way because trauma is stored on a subconscious level in our energetic fields based on principles of, you know, the book The Body Keeps Score and somatic psychology. We hold certain energies in our field, whether that's our physical body, our mental body, emotional or spiritual body. So when you're seeing a holistic healing practitioner, you're going through and you're you're digging through layers of layers of healing and going through spiritual awakening. A lot of people are probably waking up at a time like this because you're realizing what's really important and that's oneness and that's collectivism and caring about the earth and caring about each other and part of what I do as a practitioner in energy work is I focus on the mental emotional body so a lot of psychology theory surrounding the way we think using CBT, DBT um, but also understanding that energy is and thoughts and feelings are very much indeed formed on an energetic level so basically like we we think a thought and there's a vibration attached to it um, just like within our chakras they're vibrating at a certain frequency um, you know they're just atoms made of they're atoms made up of vibrational energy so Einstein said that everything in life is vibration meaning E equals MC squared, so we are that light, we're that consciousness, and based on the way that we interact with ourselves and one another, our thoughts and our words are resonate at a certain frequency. So if we're thinking over and over again, I'm not good enough, I'm not good enough, our external reality is going to mirror that and um, give us really, um, it's going to give us that that feedback that we aren't good enough to match what we're thinking. So when we're talking about how powerful thoughts are and how powerful intentions are, um, they're relevant because the, um, there are emotions tied to it. So basically what I um, do that's a little different than the average energy healer or the average therapist is we're talking about um, spiritual awakening, what it looks like, how to integrate it, and how to how to get through it, how to d discover your purpose and what you're passionate about, and then also like resurfacing the shadow self. So Jungian psychology talked about the shadow self frequency, and he defined that as the hidden aspects of ourself that we don't want to see. So basically, what that is, it would be termed like the ego or the ego self. And the ego is this false persona that we project outwardly. Um, it is a defense mechanism. It's, it's a learned sort of thing. So everyone has an ego. Um, it's part of who, who we are as human. But basically, it's like we, are, we wear masks and we're this way in front of a certain group and we're this way in front of another group. And that's because our society is so compartmentalized currently in the way that we are and the way that we see the world and view ourselves but the spiritual awakening will and the whole journey with spirituality will slowly start to strip down each layer of your ego self or um, what Jung would call the the shadow self so um, it's definitely like a difficult difficult journey because there are so many layers of ourself that are buried in our subconscious and Freud would say over 80% of human programming is subconscious and it is and then when you're woken up to it slowly whether it's through any sort of self-awareness journey therapy meditation um, 
it can create a lot of resistance and tension because it causes, basically it causes us to examine ourselves under a microscope, whereas before we never have, um, whether that's because, you know, society conditions us to be so distracted and a lot of us are very numb and are not able to feel or sense our emotions. So the whole process is very intimate and an emotional experience because you're opening up to all these buried emotions, a lot of buried hurt, a lot of buried trauma, anger, resistance, and really the intention of the journey is to just connect us to our higher selves. That is what spiritual awakening is and the universe will deliver the lessons that we need to learn, the people that we need to hear the lessons from, and exactly at this timing where um, the universe does have our back. It, you know, it has your back, it's not out to get you, but a spiritual awakening can be a really intense and heavy journey because everything that you think you know will, it will crumble. And that is for basically for you to let go of the ego self, this perceived sense of who you are, who you are, you think you were, um, you, you might have thought, you know, we, we play different roles in, in life. So like, you know, like you're a mom, you're a teacher, you're a sister. Um, those are all roles to certain people, but then we have to look like, who are we to ourselves? What do we bring to the table? What do we value? And um, mind, body, spirit healing for spiritual awakening is going to be the gateway to healing holistically because you're focusing on healing the mind, body, and spirit and all four bodies of consciousness, the mental, the emotional, the spiritual, and the physical body, which all four need healed in order to transcend, um, you know, spiritual awakening. I could go, I, I'm going to go into some other topics like ancestral trauma, karma, um, clearing past lives, Akashic records, uh, energy healing, energy medicine, and all these are really useful techniques to open up and understand spiritual awakening and spirituality. And basically, the point of it all is that we are all one and we all do operate on an energetic level. So our thoughts create our reality, our beliefs create our reality, our words create our reality. And that's where I differ pretty significantly from a traditional therapist is that I'm looking at things on an energetic level and um, I know for me personally when I did have my spiritual awakening, I went into a very deep depression for about a year or two and what that was is me really, um, I was meditating every day and I still focus on daily meditation and mindfulness but what I had to do was really dive to get to know myself and figure out who I am and what I want and for me that is bringing energy medicine into the field of therapy and mind body spirit healing because it clears the subconscious so basically the subconscious brain and the chakras are all subconscious programs that need cleared um, expanded and released and you know the chakra system mirrors our brain and what our brain does so i am just want to bring forth like the value of integrating chakras and i do something called chakra therapy so it's basically where we have sessions where i'm doing energy healing but we're also doing some talking and processing through your spiritual journey and my my i would like to be able to connect people to spirit um and you know wake up to that the different dimension of um being connected with powers that you know that aren't really seen in this reality but can be accessed with meditation and certain healing practices so um you know in the awakening process it's going to be normal to go through a dark night of the soul depression anxiety um the way traditional therapy looks at it, it's, it's uh, spirituality is not integrated at all in the DSM and current diagnostic profiles of the way we label people. Um, and I'm really not a person to label anyone with any sort of mental health issues. You know, myself, I've 
experienced depression, anxiety, recovering from PTSD, um, significant amount of mental health diagnoses, but I know I'm comfortable where I'm at now because I'm able to connect with the chakra system, the energetic system that aligns ourselves to our higher selves. And I want to be able to help people to also connect to their chakra system and open up to spirituality and their spiritual gifts and um, through law of attraction and all sorts of really fun like metaphysical things. So, you know, if you're interested in me posting more videos about certain topics, please um, comment below with what you're interested in me talking about and I would love to create a community around spiritual awakening and mind body spirit holistic practitioners healers and people who are doing energy medicine where we can come together and talk about these things and what they look like in real life and um, yeah build that connection so please let me know if there's any topics you want me to cover in the comments and if you like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up I really appreciate you tuning in and I look forward to connecting with you thank you